Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to discuss simplifying radical expressions. Ayan. So, in simplifying radicals, okay, we must satisfy the following conditions. Okay, first is the radicand has no factors raised to a power greater than or equal to the index. Second is the radicand has no fractions. Third, no denominator contains a radical. And last, exponents in the radicand and the index of the radical have no factors except for 1. Let's so, have an example. For example, we're going to get the square root of 81. And I know some of you already know the answer, but I'm going to show you the solution on how to get the square root of 81. So first thing that we need to do is for us to get the prime factors of the radicand. So the prime factors of radi the radicand is, copy the radical symbol first, and we get the prime factors of 81. And our prime factors is 3 raised to 4. Okay, the exponential forms form of the prime factors. So 3 raised to 4. And now, knowing that our index of our radical expression is 2, okay, all we need to do in order for us to simplify the exponent or the radical is to divide our exponent, okay, 4, by the index. Okay, so we will have 3 raised to 4 divided by 2. And in this case, we will have 3 raised to 2 which is equal to our final answer which is 9. And that's the reason why the square root of 81 is equal to 9. Let's have another example. For example, we're going to get the cube root of x raised to 3, y raised to 9, and z raised to 6. So in this case, since we do not have any numerical coefficient, we can now proceed to the division part. Again, we are going to divide the exponent of the radicand by the index. Okay, so what will happen is we will have x raised to 3 divided by 3, y raised to 9 divided by 3, and z raised to 6 divided by 3. Remember our lesson in converting radical from rational exponents? Then it, we're just applying the same thing and then we need to simplify. So we have x raised to 1, y raised to 3, and z raised to 2. And that is our final answer which is x, y raised to 3, z raised to 2. That's it. Now, what if our radical or the exponent is not divisible by the index? How are we going to simplify it? Let's have an example. For example, we have the cube root of x raised to 7. We know that 7 is not divisible by 3, so we cannot divide it. So what I do in, um, in this situation, I always copy the radical symbol, okay? And I look for a factor of x raised to 7 that has an exponent that is divisible by the index. So in this case, I'm going to think of a number that is divisible by 3 but less than 7. So in this case, it is going to be 6. So I'm going to factor x raised to 7 into 2. So we have x raised to 6 times x. Now in this case, we have two, we have two radicands. We can now apply the product rule for radical expression. We will have the cube root of x raised to 6 times the cube root of x. In this case, I can simplify them individually. So, so we have x raised to 6 and we are going to divide the exponent 6 by 3. Okay, so we have x raised to 6 over 3. In this case, it already satisfied our conditions in order for us to simplify a radical expression. So we have x, our variable x, has an exponent of 1, okay? And since the exponent of x is not greater than the index, this is already simplified, okay? So we will just copy the cube root of x. 
we simplify this, we will have x raised to 2 times the cube root of x. And that will be our final answer. For example, we have square root of 8 x raised to 5. Knowing that we have a numerical coefficient of 8, we need to get its prime factors and convert it to its exponential form. So in this case, we will have, we copy the radical symbol, we have 2 raised to 3 times x raised to 5. Now, like what we did in our previous example, we're going to identify whether the exponent of the radicands are divisible by the index. Looking at it, our index or our exponent is not divisible by the index. So what we are going to do next is going we are going to look for the factors of 2 raised to 3 and x raised to 5 that is divisible by the index. Our index again is 2. Okay, that's why we call it the square root. Okay, so what I always do is I look for a number that is divisible by the index that is less than our given exponent. So in this case, we have 2 raised to 3. So think of a number that is divisible by 2 but less than 3. Closest to 3. So we have 2 raised to 2 times 2 raised to 1. And the other one, x raised to 5, think of a number that is divisible by the index 2 that is less than 5. So that is 4. Okay, so we have x raised to 4 times x. Extend that and raised to 1. Okay, so now in simplifying radicals, we're going to divide the exponent of the radicand by the index. So if you cannot divide them, then you just have to place them inside the radical symbol. So let's divide. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. So 2 raised to 1 is outside the radical symbol. Okay, now 1 divided by 2 cannot be. So we're going to place it inside the radical symbol. Okay, next x raised to 4. 4 divided by 2. Okay, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we have times x raised to 2. And then we have x raised to 1 divided by 2. Since we cannot do that, I times x. Okay, so we have times x. Okay, we place it inside the radical symbol. And then we put them all together. We will have a final answer, which is 2 times x squared times the square root of 2x and that will be our final answer let's have another example for example we have the fourth root of x raised to 3 y raised to 8 and z raised to 11 now again when we simplify radicals okay the exponent of the index must be greater than the one inside the radical symbol okay so we need to simplify this because the exponent of y and z is greater than the index which is 4 so in this case we're going to simplify okay so we copy the radical symbol the fourth root of x raised to 3 knowing that the exponent of x which is 3 is less than the index so we no need for us to simplify that but for y okay the exponent of y is already divisible by 4 so no need for us to get the factor. The exponent of z is not divisible by our index. We need to get the factor of z. So in this case, think of a number that is divisible by 4 that is close to 11 or less than 11. That is, okay, that's 8. So we need to get the factor. We have z raised to 8 times z raised to 3. Then we divide each exponent by the index 3 divided by 4 cannot be so it will retain inside the radical symbol so x raised to 3 will still be inside the radical symbol y raised to 8 divided by 4 8 divided by 4 so we have y raised to 2 and that's okay next let's proceed 
z raised to 8 the 8 divided by 4 that is going to be times z raised to 2 and last one we have z raised to 3 3 divided by 4 so therefore we are going to retain z raised to 3 inside the radical symbol okay and then let's now combine our final answer will be y squared z raised to 2 times the fourth root of x raised to 3 z raised to 3 and this is the simplified form so now that we're done with the example it's your turn to try it now please click the link in our description box to answer more practice exercises and simplifying radical expressions and that's it for today again i'm teacher justin goodbye god bless and stay safe see you on my next video peace